These are the men who attacked the Chinese consulate in Karachi. Armed with guns, they calmly walked up to a security checkpoint and opened fire. Police say the men threw up to 10 hand grenades at the compound as they tried unsuccessfully to storm the building. They were stopped by guards before they reached the consulate. Two policemen who were on duty have been killed. The attackers parked their car away from the consulate. They were stopped from entering the building. Three attackers have been killed. The separatist group, the Balochistan Liberation Army, said the three gunmen were its members. The group's angry at the so-called China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, a $64 billion Chinese investment which aims to connect the port of Gwada in southern Pakistan to northwestern China via roads, railways and pipelines. The development promises to bring jobs, but many people in Balochistan say China is exploiting Pakistan's resources. The Chinese government says it's asked Islamabad for more security. The Chinese side strongly condemns any violent attacks targeting any diplomatic missions and requests the Pakistani side takes measures to ensure the safety of Chinese nationals and organizations. Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan says the attack on the consulate was part of a conspiracy against economic cooperation between Pakistan and China. The foreign minister also condemned the gunman. One attacker detonated his suicide vest, killing two policemen, but police killed the other two attackers before they could enter the consulate premises. We're glad that all the consulate staff are safe. The government says Chinese consular staff have been moved to a safe location and that security forces have the area under control. However, they're braced for more attacks from people who feel China is transforming their impoverished region but not giving them a fair share of the benefits. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.